All right, we have a transformer here, 5 to 1, has an iron core to it. We have 120 volts RMS here, which comes out to be 1, excuse me, 170 volts peak. That's what this is here. And if it's a 5 to 1, then 120 volts divided by 5 times the square root of 2, we end up with uh, about... 34 volts peak from here to here. Input waveform looks like this. It's AC waveform, 170 volts peak, minus 170 volts peak. With this white one here at ground level. Okay, so we have 170 volts peak potential from here to here. And we have 34 volts peak potential from here to here. This one, the primary, primary has, um, is associated with against ground, but there's 170 volts peak from here to here, therefore, the 5 to 1 ratio gives you 34 volts potential difference from here to here. These phasing dots tell you it's in phase. And so the secondary is in phase with the primary. However, the secondary, the reference, potential difference reference is from this point to this point, And it is not in reference to ground. The primary and secondary are completely isolated from each other. Uh, let's see. When, let's see, since they're in phase, when the primary is in phase, is, excuse me, when the primary is uh, on the positive going, so we have plus here and relative minus here, we would have plus here and minus here. The current flow in this, in the secondary, tends to want to go this way, since the positive is here and the negative is here. Um, this being the source for uh, attraction of electrons, actually attraction of conventional current. Um, when it is positive here and negative here, RL has current flow through it because the diode is forward biased and has current flow through it. Now um, we have a current times resistance drop equals voltage drop across this one. Now let's turn a pin to red here. When we have 170 volts here, that's positive. Let's try a darker in. That's, and let's see. This one's negative, that one's positive. Okay, so we have 170 volts difference between here and here. And we have 34 volts from here to here, but this one is positive and that one is negative. So we have a potential difference that will try and run current through it this way instead of the other way. Since we have a diode in here, this red is reverse biased, acts like an open switch. And no current flow. Well, there's current flow from minority carriers, but that's about it. No IR drop on the resistor. So that means. 
that means that if we have our waveform from the secondary, so we have 34 volts peak here, minus 34 volts peak. The voltage drop across the resistor, when we're here, we have current flow, we have an IR drop. When we get to here, however, uh, we have no current flow because we are reverse biased and there is no IR drop. We get back to here, we have IR and then no IR and then we have IR drop. And the waveform across RL will look just like this here. And you have a simple half wave rectifier. With the peaks here being um, 34 volts peak minus. 0.7 volt diode drop. Um, that's it.